Hey, this is Nathan Holmquist, and I'm going to show you how you can use ScanLister with Inventory Lab. So here's my ScanLister account, and as you can see, I listed 10 items, and I also included the price per unit for each one. So under cost per unit, I had 50 cents each for each one. And what I want to do is I want to get that information into my Inventory Lab account. So go ahead and go to Export, select Text CSV, click OK. Go ahead and name the file. Open the file. All right, so there's the 10 items that I listed on ScanLister. And the first two columns are the one I'm going to need. I'm going to need MSKU number and the price per unit. The rest I don't need, so I'm going to delete those. There are, are, there are two other optional columns. I can put the supplier and I can put date purchased. So if you know those two things, you can put them right there. The price per unit is mandatory. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as a CSV file. Make sure it says CSV right here. Click save. Now go ahead and go to inventory lab. All right, go ahead and go to inventory, go to the import button, select the file from the computer that you just saved earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and find scan lister demo, click open. And that's it. So the price per unit is now on inventory lab. It can take about 10 minutes for it to show up, but it will be on there. And that's it for this video. So that's how you use ScanLister with Inventory Lab. Thanks for watching.